today in the shop. You're stuck with just me. Peyton wasn't feeling well, so she decided to go to bed early. Um, if you hear some noise, we're having a thunderstorm out there. Um, love listening to them. It's great. You can watch them come in out of the Northwest. It's usually pretty fun. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about uh, how the cars did at the show uh, as far as you know performance and what we found when we got them home. Now we, we know that the cars got there and got back. That's that's great. So we're going to start with um, we'll start with the Roadster. The 28 did great. Um, at one point my wife was leaving my buddy Dave and I in the dust um, and uh, she was just having a blast. So she told me it kind of rides like a couch going on the street that uh, TCI chassis and those nice comfy seats with lumbar and the driver's side, uh, that's, let's face it, it is pretty comfortable. The only thing we found is the transmission pan seeping just a little bit and we did discover why the oil was leaking. Um, it was, we noticed it was coming out of the breather, or I did, and so I started trying to figure out why. Well, I found that the hose going to the PCB valve from there to the carburetor had slipped off, so I put a clamp on there, fixed the oil issues, not a problem. Um, I am going to make sure those wheels are all retorqued down, you know, because I mean, we did have them out and we did drive them. Um, other than that, that car is ready to go. Um, the only thing I have to do is I, I can't remember where I put the dump tap, the, the dump tube caps. So uh, until then, I just have to be open exhaust. Uh, at least it's not completely obnoxious like something else we got around here. Now you can still see the tea bucket. Now it did sell. Yep, it, it's going to a new home. It sounds like my buddy is coming to pick it up uh, tomorrow. Good buddy of mine from the Army. We go way back um, almost 10 years now. Uh, the only thing we found with this one is those few oil leaks, you know, the seeping out of the bolts. We did get those snugged up real nice. Um, and I did run it. Seemed to be fine. The uh, oil sending unit was leaking. Got that snugged up. And then um, we were driving it, and uh, Dave said it was... Well, it seemed like it was loading up. So I adjusted the carburetor, adjust the idle. Seems like it's gonna be good to go. Uh, he's planning on coming tomorrow to drive it home. And uh, sounds like it's supposed to be like 84 up here and sunny. So he'll have a great hour and a half drive home. Um, I hope he loves it. Cause uh, um, like I told people before, I was hoping it would take longer for, uh, for it to go so I could drive it more. But um, it's going to a good place and Cool part is maybe uh, maybe you'll let me drive it again. You know what I'm saying, Tony? Okay, now we come to the point where we're going to talk about um, the 31. So we did uh, come into some. We did find the little issues. You know, we we you knew about the brakes, the one pulls, but I think it's just because uh, the other side, the um, the driver side, just needs to get used more. And it was kind of figuring itself out. On the way home, um, when Dave was following me, he said that we weren't nearly, he could tell when we were stepping on the brakes before because we were pulling really hard to the right. Um, on the way back, he said it was not nearly as bad. So I think it's just a matter of using, using it. We did have one of the headlight arms uh, loosen up a little bit, but that's pretty minor and it's just tightening up some bolts or maybe I'll just have to give you the old tack weld so it won't uh, move around anymore because it's, it's pretty, pretty snug right where it's at. Uh, tires held up great, uh, didn't use any oil. We know about the, the good old mufflers because let's face it, uh, I'm already, you know, pretty deaf on this side from, uh, well, let's just call it, we'll just call it hearing loss. That's what we'll call it. Uh, we won't call it age or any of that stuff, but, um, Peyton doesn't need to be having hearing loss at 13. So we're going to get those ordered, um, soon. But the most pressing issue we found is that uh, good old Clyde here has a transmission pan leak. Um, I've already since or I've since ordered parts. Uh, they're on their way. Uh, I got notice they shipped today. I am replacing the whole pan because I don't know if this one's bent. And um, I did get a uh, much better gasket than this cork one. Um, I got the nice silicone one. And um, I did get a pan with a, an actual drain plug in there instead of having to do the old uh, start in the front and work your way around until that pan goes and the fluid just comes flying out of there. I can't wait for Peyton to see that. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. The nice thing is we don't really have to jack up the car. We can just lay on, on the ground and put the pan out of there and, and uh, slowly take them off. 
Fluid's clean, so I mean, it's uh, we're just gonna check the filter to see if it needs to be replaced, and if it doesn't, we're just gonna let it rip. But um, that's that's kind of what we found with Clyde. Um, we definitely need new seats because those are horribly uncomfortable and I probably need to put more than two bolts in the driver's seat. So the cool part about having the old perpetual project is that uh, no matter what, you find something new every day. And I bet if I dug around more on this guy right here, or the one out in the attached, we'll call it the detached shop um, or detached storage area because it's uh, now my, my daily has to park outside. Um, if I look hard enough, I'm sure I can find something else. But um, that's really all I've got for today. Uh, you know, with Peyton not feeling well, I didn't feel like uh, we should really get after anything too too big. Um, so if you guys have anything you want to see, if you want to have any uh, questions on that uh, setup for um, the 28, um, I did actually find the dyno sheet on that one. And it... Uh, with the current carburetor on there, it has 395 horse and 370 foot-pounds of torque. And if I put a bigger one on uh, to a 750 CFM, it's 444 and 430. So I think that uh, that car is uh, uh, very healthy. Um, this one probably has about six or seven horsepower. Because, I mean, let's face it, it's a 400 from the 70s. I don't know. This one, that's all you need, six, because there's no weight to it at all. But... If you got any comments or questions or you want to trade stickers, you want a t-shirt, uh, you want to tell me a story, you know, there is one, I do have one favorite and there are a few people out there who know what it is. So um, make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, keep watching. Keep on wrenching. Have a great day.